Here are the top five reasons to tone your paper with casein for gouache painting. Hey guys, welcome back to my video channel. If you're not yet subscribed, click that subscribe button and hit the bell too while you're at it so you don't miss the next video tip. Lately I've been doing some toning of paper with casein. If you don't know what casein is, it's a water-based paint. Um, casein is a milk binder. I've been using this as an underpainting tone for when I do gouache in my sketchbooks or in my watercolor paper. I'm going to give you each reason, then I'm going to expand on each one afterwards. Reason number one. It helps you gauge values a lot easier than just plain white paper. Even the lightest white gouache is darker than plain white paper. So you'll always end up with a darker tone than the paper no matter what. If you start with a tone, you can work dark to light much easier that way. Reason number two, it helps speed up the process by giving you a base color to work out of. If you're painting something that's blue and you already have a blue tone down, you don't have to waste a lot of time in gouache putting down a base color in real time. This helps a lot in plain air where every minute counts. Reason number three, you can choose any color you want to tone your paper. I have a number of different casein tubes I use, including this underpainting set that I got from Jerry's Artorama. I mostly like neutral tone papers, but for certain scenarios, I like more saturated colors. Reason number four, it can help you set a mood for a painting with a color that you can harmonize or contrast with. One of the things I like to do is put down a color that's opposite of the color scheme that I see in the subject. That side-by-side -side contrast and color really can make your color sing. Reason number five. Unlike gouache, when casein dries, it's permanent. So this means that when you paint on it, you don't have to worry about the paint lifting up and mixing into your wet paint as you would with regular gouache. Casein isn't the most popular medium anymore, so you might find it a little difficult to find it at your local art supply store sometimes. Fortunately, you can find both the sets and tubes at jerrysartorama.com, and I'll put the link to those in the video description below. I'm interested in hearing about your experience with using casein for underpaintings, so share with me what you do with it. Tag me on Instagram at either Sergio Lopez Fine Art or Sergio Lopez Landscapes, or share with me in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and got even a little bit of new info from it, I would love it if you would give it a like, share it in your Facebook feeds or stories, or in your Facebook groups, or in your Instagram stories. It really helps me out and gets the word out about what I'm doing on my channel here. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video.